this project you'll need 9 feet or about 3 meters of leather cord, a rock, my example is 3 inches or about 7.5 centimeters in diameter, a lacing fid, and small side cutters. Starting with the back side of your rock, place one end of your leather cord bottom up across the rock spine. Be sure to let the cord end dangle approximately one and a quarter rock lengths over the top. Hold the back cord in place and turn the rock around so that it faces you, drawing the working end of cord with you. Then, firmly pull the working end up at an angle across the rock's face, parallel across the rock's upper back, down at an angle across the rock's face, and parallel across the rock's lower back. Be sure to wrap over the dangling cord behind the rock. Repeat the same procedure until the desired amount of rock face is covered. End your rock wrap with the working end at the top right side of the rock's face. Carefully turn the rock around. All cord lines in the back should be parallel to one another. Use your fid to assist in sliding the working end of cord under the top and bottom parallel lines of cord. Firm up the piece by adjusting the position of the right cord end so that it is symmetrically distant to the position of the left cord end. To lock the tie, slightly pull out the right cord end under the top parallel lines of cord. Then, tuck the right cord end under the pulled out line below. Use your fid to tuck the right cord end under the top parallel lines of cord, in the process generating a cow hitch that will lock all the cords in place. Use your fit again to tuck the right cord end under the bottom parallel lines of cord. Rotate the rock around, top side down, and repeat the same locking procedure on the other side. To complete the piece, use your side cutters to snip the top and bottom cords. Then, press the cord tips under the wraps.